Hey there, FTM sweethearts. How are you doing today? You're lucky today because you get to spend some time with Naya and Taryn. All right. What we're talking about today is something super, super exciting, so I hope you're ready. Strap your seatbelts on because it's going to be one hell of a ride. So, by the way, it's week 58. And we are talking about name and gender marker changes. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we are doing this right now for Taryn. Um, and I haven't really actually been too involved in this process. So as you can see, Taryn is here to kind of talk about it with me or something like that. So that's right. Um, we are in California, Sacramento, California, to be exact. Um, so we're going to go Get through the process that we have gone through, or Taryn has gone through. Um, so, babe, what was your first step in doing your name and gender marker change? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Okay. Um, the first step for me was calling the Gender Health Center, that's GHC in Sacramento County, um, and s set an appointment, and they did everything for me. They did, they did all the... And so much more. You won't believe what they did. They did everything for me. Um... All of the paperwork sat down with me, typed in every every little step of the way, made copies for me. You have to have a copy for yourself, and uh, no wait, is, are they all three for the court? Or I think you get a copy, and then they get two copies or one copy. Yeah, it's right here on my instructions for filing a petition for change of name and gender. You need an original and two copies of each. Here, you say the most exciting part. Ooh. Which, yeah. So you need, so the forms in California, which you will need, um, and like he just said, you will need the original and two copies of each of the following. Um, so the first thing you'll need is a petition for change of name and gender, which is form NC200. NC200. Um, the second thing is name and information about the person whose name is being changed um, attached to the petition, which is form NC110. NC110. Um, the third thing is declaration from a physician, form NC210. NC210. And that will have to be signed by your physician and then attached to form NC200. And um, we got a sample letter that was given to us, um, which maybe you can see there. Shall I read it? Um, I don't know if that's... No, I think we got it in there. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the, the, the <laughs> declaration <laughs> of physician <laughs> form. Um, and then order to show cause for change of name or form NC, excuse me, <laughs> NC 220. Um, Look up down my way. <laughs> no. Watch them. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, Hodge Twins. Um, and then the last thing you will need is the decree Give me some um, of changing name and gender or form NC230. Um, so you will need those five things to, or those five forms to file your name and gender change. And you can do that at your county's superior court. Yeah. And in Sacramento County, Wednesdays are the days to go because that is when they have somebody there to process everything right on the spot. 
Otherwise, you're putting it in a drop box and prolonging your process. So if you can, when you are in the Sacramento County, go on Wednesday. So you went down to the Gender Health Center. They helped you fill out all the forms. Um, the only form they didn't help you out with was the um, fee waiver form, right? Uh, they gave it to you, but they you had to fill it out because you have to like break down like your entire oh, income, that, mm, like mm. every amount that you pay out. Some, um, and then of course, you yeah you have to fill in your personal financial stuff, and, and then you have to submit that. Let me with, just shuffle some papers. With your paperwork. Um, and so if you qualify, your fee is waived. If not, here, I believe it's around $435, $435. Yeah. Um, it's ridiculous. And then you also have to... So you, while you file, what? then you had to put your name in a paper saying you were changing your name? Yes, you have to put your name in the paper. And it has to be an approved paper, so just make sure you get a listing for your area. And you have to put your name and, uh, for me it was name and gender, in the paper for four weeks uh, in a row. Before your court date, right? Before your court date, yes. 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 Because then once that is completed, they send you something, and you then have to either mail, or, like I did, I just took my stuff right in. I went on a Wednesday. The, the proof that you put your name change in my... the paper. You have to give that back to the is court. Is there an envelope in that? Yes. There is an envelope. Envelope. And the winner is... Oh no, this is an edge. There is no winner. Fucking, there is no winner. So... So what? Uh, so yeah, so oh, you fill out your forms, mm -hmm. fill out your forms, send, put, file them, put your name in a in the paper for four weeks before your court date. Then, when you, then your court date goes through. So that yeah, it's important that you put at least get your court date when you file file your paper originally to put it, and they usually know this, but. Um, to put it at least six weeks, mine was eight, and that'll give you time to, you know, obviously uh, get your name in the paper for four weeks. And so, then yeah. once your court date goes through, um, you're legally approved to have your name and gender change. You can go right down Social Security is the first place you should go, and then to DMV, and then accordingly afterwards, um, banks and all that fun stuff. Which, that's the part I'm in right now. I find out tomorrow my court date is on the 21st. Yay. And then from there, that's kind of where I'm at in my stuff right now. Um, Which, this is very exciting because then we can have everything all legal and legit. Yeah. Um, have the nice little M on the driver's license. Have the correct name on the credit card so I could start using those again. I've strictly became cash because it's just too much anxiety, even the anticipation of somebody asking me for my ID. So um, I waited due to the fact of on the medical side, I wasn't sure the whole uh, male, female as far as getting a hysterectomy. Now that that's not a problem anymore, there's nothing holding me back at this point. Plus, I don't even have medical insurance anymore. But, <laughs> so, but that was the reason why I was uh, prolonging it. Um, so now, yeah. And for me, what, thir 12, 13, 14 a year in two months? Yeah, basically. Four, a little over 14 months. I know people who haven't in a really long time. And but. We are not different one of reasons those. for different reasons, but yeah. yes. So this is very exciting for us, um, especially for Taryn. Yay! So yeah, so that's the basic process that we've gone through. So hopefully that helps some people out there. Um, if we missed something, please um, feel free to comment below with whatever you have um, to add. Oh, our kitty cat's going to make a cameo. 
Toots toots. Everybody say hello. Oh. oh. Say hello to oh. the toots. I think you freaked her out, babe. Oh. 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 Oh, kitty cat. Oh, kitty. Alrighty. Okay. Well, you guys have a Fancy. great week. <laughs> Sorry, I totally just... And we that. will see you guys next week. Bye.